two sides of a triangle are 5 and 7. What is the range of values for the third side? All right, so two sides of the triangle, we got 5 and 7. We're kind of looking for what could happen on the third. And notice it says range. That means it's not just one answer to this problem. There's not just one answer. There's more than one thing going on here. So we got to look at this situation. So let's take a look and see what we've got going here, all right? First of all, if I were just to give you, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to throw this down here. There's a side. We're going to say it's a big, long side, isn't it? It looks like a great old ink pen that's having troubles there, but it'll work for us here. Let's make shift. And let's say I put two more down here, two more sides of stuff, all right? You say, well, Ernie, you're not going to have enough room down there. Well, how about these two? These two pieces right here. And I try to lay them end to end. That's the whole idea. Let me pull it down just a little bit. And I were going to pull these and lay them eight. They're eight ways end to end. You know, just laying them down there as tight as possible. Can't make, can't make a triangle, can I? I can move the paper, but that doesn't help me either, does it? There's a problem here, and that's what this story's about. Not just any three numbers or th any three links will be three sides of a triangle. There's something going on here. Now, if I were to bring this, you say, well, Ernie, bring it closer. All right, we'll do that. Closer, closer. You know, I'm still short, very short. Even if I lie, I'm just parallel sitting right on top there. I cannot make a triangle out of those, no matter how hard I try. Um, so what I got to do instead, you say, well, make one I'm shorter. Which one? How about the big long one? Well, let's see what happens if I have three short pieces there. Let's see what happens with three short pieces. Here we go. One, two. Can we make a triangle, my friends? There we can. That one looks pretty equal out because they're all the same size there, all right? They're all the same size. But the idea is why did it not work a minute ago and why is it working now? All right, we'll get those things sized back up there. When I throw those things down, it's kind of like throwing dice, okay? Now, question is, is there a, a rationale? There's something going on here. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. All right. So, well, first of all, we know that third side has to be shorter than these two because they're not going to meet together. So, if we add them together, 5 and 7, we get 12. We know that third side has to be shorter than 12. It can't equal 12 because it'll collapse. It'll just collapse on top and they'll meet, but they won't make a triangle. They'll just make a nice little line segment or three line segments working there. So, let's see what the story of it is. <clears throat> the... 7, the 5 and 7, I'm going to write it down twice here because we want to know how low we can go and we want to know how high we can go, hence the range of values. Now it looked pretty good if they were all the same length, 666, 333, 444, something like that, that works pretty well. So the question is how close can we get you know, to these other two numbers? How close can we get to the 5? How close can we get to the 7? All right, so here's the deal. I said something about if we added five and seven, we were out of range because we would collapse. So what we've got to do, we've got to find this third side. We're going to call it X. All right, right there it is. And we're going to say it has to be smaller than 12. Now, how much smaller? It doesn't matter. Okay, well, actually it does. It does. Because we can't also down here, if we have a length that's two and a length that's five, it's going to collapse also. You see that? 2 plus 5 gives a 7. So I have to be a little bit bigger than 2. So here's the story on that one. We have to have somewhere between 2 and 12, any number in between there. And that includes decimals. We're not talking it has to be 3, 4, 5, or 6. You could have 2 and 1 tenth, 2 and 1 hundredth. You get my idea. As long as you're not at 2, as long as you get very close, don't put an equals 2 there, all right? You've got a chance, all right? You've got a chance for a triangle. On the other side here, as long as you get real close to 12, 11 and 9 tenths, 11 and 9 hundredths, 11 and 99 hundredths, you get my idea. You get very, very close, but just don't quite get to 12. So folks, the range of values, basically that value X, that third side is somewhere between 2 and 12, and it cannot get to 2, and it cannot get to 12. But it can be with decimals, okay? So don't always think that means, oh, it's just between 3 and 11. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It's other things besides that, all sorts of values there. So that's why we put our range in here. And that's what we call a combined inequality. We're basically saying X is greater than 2 and less than 12. All right, so there's our problem of the day. Good start there, folks. A little geometry for you. And just realize, not always can we say, hey, three links, throw them up in the air, they'll make a triangle. It doesn't always work that way. 
For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.